Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to Collection Neo and Statue Forum. And yes, I'm afraid we are still in Dino City. <laughs> um, obviously, my last few reviews, I did the um, Starachosaurus and the Allosaurus and the Carnotaurus female. Well, today we are looking at the Carnotaurus male. Yes, it's another damn toys bust. And um, I've got to say, um, this is probably going to be the last bust for a while. Um, I've got a couple other pieces on order from them, but they aren't really busts. Well, I suppose one is. Um, and this Carnotaurus has come way, way earlier, like the Allosaurus did, um, than pieces I've had on order for, you know, a couple of years. So I don't know why damn toys are putting out stuff quicker for, you know, obviously these are less, less complicated pieces, I imagine, so we're getting them a lot quicker. So we're going to jump straight in, make this quite short and sweet. So we're going to take a look at the box first, and then we'll get onto the bust. Now the box, as you can see, usual damn toy same style. We've got a bit of artwork on the front representing the, the bust. Like I said, this is a Carnotaurus male. Um, and just like every other damn toys bust, we get a couple of flavours. So um, this is Collectible Zoo, Museum Zoo, Carnotaurus, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't seem to say which is which. I think this isn't the one I've got. I think that's the alternate one. Let's go back to the other side. Yeah, I think this is the one I've got, which is more of the grey. But you'll see on camera, these photos really don't do them... Justice, um, and on the back of the box you can see the two variants there, so yeah, I've got the A version, which is I've got the grey with the yellow underbelly, and then the B version, which is more um, akin to the um, Carnotaurus female I've got, which is more lighter. Um, as you can see, big open mouth pose on this guy, um, and then the usual, the details, you've got the dimensions, the weight, all the sculptors, the usual stuff on the box from Dan Toys. Nifty little boxes. Um, I do love that they put the dimensions and the weight on there. So now we've done the box, we'll um, jump on to the bust. And here he is, guys. Like I say, this is Carnotaurus male version. Um, no one really told me the difference between a female and a male in the last video. <laughs> but I think the features seem to be a bit harsher on the male. Um, and obviously the, um, this is in an open mouth pose and we've got different colours. But can I just say, this guy looks absolutely stunning. He really does. Danto is uh, really, really on point with their paint. Same base as usual, um, with the Carnotaurus skull on the front um, and the nameplate. And of course the swivels to whichever way you want it. And on the back of there, of course, we've got the hook as well, if you want to mount these on inside your display cabinet or on the walls. So you've got a couple of um, display options there. And I've gone over those on other videos, so check out the other reviews if you want to know a bit more about the bases and all that sort of stuff. Um, but let's get close in on this guy, because I've got to say, out of all the pieces I've had, I love the paint scheme on him. It's really, really cool. I love the flex of red going along here. It just like pops. And as I said um, in my previous videos, Dan Toy's paints are just so on point. They really are. And the tooth is picked out perfectly. The horns, the eyes. We'll go a bit closer in a moment. Um, all the scales, the sculpts, and like I said in previous videos, Dan Toy's sculpts probably aren't the most accurate. Um, but aesthetically, I think they look great. You know, they're obviously taking a few liberties here and there, and probably are taking liberties with the sculpt and the paint schemes, but I just think they look great. Um, this guy's about 130 bucks, so same price as the other guys, and they just rock. They do such good... Um, paint and details for that price and that eye is um, so well picked out and just like the little flex on the horns and the sculpt details and the scales and like I say the mouth is really really nicely done as well fleshy tones you've got little spots in there uh, I'm sure people complain about the um, purple of the mouth where it probably should be a more flashy red but I think it works like I say we're not going for hyper accuracy we're going for aesthetics in my opinion and that's what Dan Toys came for 
and aesthetically this pleases me it really does and they're just such good quality for you know um, the price um, so what I'm going to do guys I've actually got the female here I'm going to bring her in so you can now see the difference and they look brilliant together obviously depending on what paint schemes you've gone for you'll get a different effect I mean these are the sorts of things that you know down the road if I see them second hand on eBay or started cheaper and it's the colour that I haven't got then I probably will pick a few of these up or, uh, you know the alternate colours and it totally makes sense for Dan Toys to do it you know why wouldn't they offer multiple colours and multiple versions and I think these two guys are different enough to warrant the two sculpts personally Um, there is a full size Carnotaurus coming and again there's two flavours they did a grey one and a red one um, both had regular versions and exclusive versions that came with like a skull portrait bust um, so I went for the red one the red exclusive so basically I've covered all colours I think with um, Carnotaurus with my two busts and my full size I think it's going to make a great Carnotaurus display if you're a Carnotaurus fan, you know, these um, are definitely, um, this is definitely the way to go. Obviously Sideshow, I think, um, did a Carnotaurus and their Dinosauri as well. But I think a lot of the Dinosauri line looks a bit, um, a bit longer in the tooth, in the old dinosaur tooth. But these are just fantastic. Like I say, for the money. You know, 100, 150 quid with customs and shipping on for me. I'm more than happy to pay that for these. Very, very happy. Slots into display, great. So how I, if you've not seen on the Allosaurus video, I actually do a shot of how I've got my display set up at the minute. And I'm hoping to have the two Carnotaurus bus on top of the, the full size below or vice versa. Um, yeah. Dinosaur display is coming along well, guys. Um, like I say, a few more PCs coming. Um, been a little bit quiet on the Damn Toys Dino front. They've shown off... Um, Renders for their Spinosaurus, which looks great, so I'm kind of excited for that. Um, and obviously Prime 1 is still pumping out a hell of a ton of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World stuff. Which, like I say, I'm not super interested in because I want to keep my line kind of dinosaur-centric. But, um, you know, normal dinosaurs rather than Jurassic Park or movie dinosaurs. Um, what, other, what other dinosaur movies are they? <laughs> So I'm not super interested in all the um, Prime 1 stuff, but I've got the Prime 1 Triceratops coming, just because it looks like a good Triceratops piece. And I will keep my eye on that. I mean, all the stuff that they've done there, new Mosasaur, um, is just phenomenal. Um, if you saw my old um, Sideshow Dinosaurium Mosasaur review, you can find that on my channel. Um, it was, wasn't great. And their new Mosasaur, which is um, coming up from Jurassic World, is just stunning. Stunningly good, you know, but I'm sure it's going to be stunningly expensive as well. So there you go, guys. We'll finish there. That's the Carnotaurus male bust. This guy right here. Stunning pieces. If you're a dino fan and you haven't picked any of these up yet, have a look on eBay. They are they are on there now. You can sort of find um, people in the US and even in Europe selling them now. So um, they're a bit more available. We'll jump on Sideshow. The, to be honest, I think Sideshow order basically a few, they don't have a Lauren and they probably fill orders that have been pre-orders that have been placed so most of the time once mine's shipped I look on the site again and a week or so later and they're, they're either low on stock or out of stock um, so if you do want them guys jump on Sideshow, search Dan Toys and amongst all the Warcraft stuff you will find these um, Dino Bus now you might not find them all on Sideshow all the colours but you'll definitely find one or two um, but eBay is the way to go a lot of Chinese sellers with um, damn toys being based in um, Hong Kong. So um, um, have a look and just get one. I'd really suggest you just buy one. If you like the colour schemes of these these ones that I've been showing, pick one up and just check it out and see what you think. Because um, I really do think it's a great line that's completely going under the radar. 
Uh, more reviews coming up, guys. Uh, we've got a few going up on Statue Forum that won't be going up on my channel, so check those out. Um, as always, Statue Forum um, link will be in the description. And if you're watching on Statue Forum, check my um, um, link in the description for my page, Clutch and Neo. And we can all be one happy family. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of good stuff coming up on Statue Forum, guys. I really recommend you go and check there videos out. Um, as for here, for me personally, a um, few different reviews coming up. I don't think you're going to see much more Marvel or DC stuff from me now. I think that's I'm done. Um, so maybe a bit more weirder weirder stuff. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe. Not weirder, just not mainstream stuff I'd say. Which, you know, in statue collecting terms, there's not really much of a mainstream is there? Um, but yeah, but yeah, as as usual, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Stick around. You're gonna get weird on your ass. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.